Good morning. Uh, today I'm going to present you something about environmental urban design, specifically a uh, state uh, case study in the central area of Sao Paulo. Sao Paulo is nowadays the biggest city of Brazil. It's a metropolitan area, has over 22 million inhabitants. So the, I'm sorry again, uh, the area uh, we are talking about is this red spot, the Bruce neighborhood. It's about, the area I'm going to present you is about 25 blocks. So I will try to show you how we've been developing urban, urban design considering the environmental performance of the urban fabric. fabric. So we have been done this for over 10 years. This is a case study from 2008 and I'm quite proud of presenting this because this year the municipality and the government started to put this in practice. So it's very interesting. Uh, we have done in the early stage of the research a few measurements. You see what's the variables we are considering. Oh, I'm just lost with that. I'm sorry. Uh, so this is the built area, the urban area we're talking about, 25 blocks. It's not a dense area, okay? It has some not very tall buildings, something like 15, 20 stories. For Sao Paulo, this is not very tall. And we have lots of small buildings. So what we are proposing is to remain only this built area, the other area, the other buildings, are not of any historic value or something like that. What we're going to do is to reuse and recycle the material, 99% of the material that has been demolished in this area. Here we have some design criteria for the requalification of this urban fabric. So the first one, air quality. Pollution in Sao Paulo is terrible. Uh, accessibility is <laughs> also very difficult to, to get urban mobility. Uh, Sao Paulo is not a plain city, okay? Urban noise because of the traffic jams, we have lots of problems with acoustics. Energy generation with PVs and solar collectors. Solar access not only for the PVs but also for people. Sao Paulo is a, tro is a tropical city but we have problems in winter as well. We are using landscape uh, as a cultural force, and when we say cultural force, we mean for uh, drainage, for outdoor thermal comfort in summer, so this is important. there is an important role of landscape when we are talking about the design of the city. So, this is quite a lot, this is very ambitious, but we are proposing 2,500 people per hectare. This is more than we have nowadays in Hong Kong. 40% of social housing, this is that the government will provide us, and 60% of affordable housing for low-income families. Okay? In the area, there is not only housing, but also uh, other services, okay? So it's a mixed area. So we are going to present you two proposals. The, I mean, it, they, are, they are probably the extreme proposals. We have many in between them. Uh, the first one, uh, perimeter block occupation. So we can see here in the white blocks. And the second one, a proposal with uh, really tall towers and slabs, so two very different proposals. The technical studies cover a uh, wide range of areas, so here we, have, we can see for the perimeter block, just an image to illustrate the potential of energy generation. This is done by some computational simulation models. Landscape, we are thinking about that, considering that we have nowadays just small pocket parks, parks and what we wish to have is some 
green corridors that can connect urban parks, big urban parks, so we can provide not only more thermal comfort, not only conditions, I'm lost, conditions for storing water, for infiltration of water, and also for uh, birds and small animals, so they can connect between or among the parks. Universal design, so accessible routes. We are really concerned about mobility and accessibility in the city. So, as São Paulo is not a, uh, has a difficult topography, so we are trying to develop what's the better ways and trying to achieve another alternatives for people that has any kind of disability. We have also some analysis on urban acoustics. Um, the idea is to study what is the critical areas so as we can uh, retrofit or try to develop new buildings, to design new buildings with specific facades that are acoustics, uh, acoustically uh, better. Here we have some <coughs> analysis from airflow, urban airflows in the city. So we can see here that with this kind of study we can uh, provide air pollution dispersion. So the idea is to to have the the city as it is today with less. Uh, vehicles in the, the streets, but also trying to remove this pollution that is really a critical problem in São Paulo. Probably the problem, the floods, the drainage problem, and pollution are the two main problems nowadays in São Paulo. And here, just to see how we can interact all these uh, simulations. If we talk about outdoor thermal comfort, we have a problem in the summer and a problem in the winter. Two different problems. And with airflow studies, with CFD, dynamic fluid, computational fluid dynamics, with shading studies, the vegetation proposals, and the pedestrian flow, the accessible routes. So here we have the study for the perimeter blocks, as we can see here. And as you may see here, we have slabs and towers, so we can compare different characteristics uh, before the site, in what way we're going to design our buildings, in what way we're going to uh, requalify, retrofit the existing stock <coughs> buildings of the city. <coughs> so, our vision for the future, our perspective, is that nowadays São Paulo is just like that. And we're trying to come to something like this. A more compact city. It's more sustainable. The footprint is much smaller, and we're trying to achieve this. Okay, the peripheric area of São Paulo is very spread and very of low income families <coughs> that has, in fact, very bad conditions of life. Just a final consideration. Uh, I'd like to say that. All this research is not for on its own sake, but the idea is to put it in practice. So, what we believe that is the ideal condition is to develop since the beginning the design of the buildings, the design of the city together, and during all the whole process, we have this kind of simulations, very specific. Simulations of our flow, of solar access, of acoustics, of mobility, and so on, in order to achieve uh, really uh, environmental conditions that can provide comfort, can, uh, can, can achieve a better correlation of comfort and energy efficiency in the urban tissue, in the urban fabric. Thank you very much.